Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for uh, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading Cancer. Let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to your love and romance. First card here is the Six of Swords, Seven of Wands, the Ace of Wands, wow, the High Priestess, the World card, the Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the Emperor, the Judgment, and the King of Cups. All right. So right at the center, we have the Seven of Pentacles, Cancers. Um, I feel that a lot of you guys may currently be experiencing a bit of uh, stress. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be either you or your partner, the person that you're dealing with may currently be dealing with a lot of stress and it could be because of financial uh, difficulties or financial strain. Now, you do have here the Six of Swords and the Six of Swords uh, speaks about moving forward, being able to, I think that a lot of you guys have really been tested either with finding stability, uh, for others of you finding stability within the relationship, uh, for some of you guys, you could have even been dealing with a person or a partner that was married or has been previously married. Um, now, I do have here the High Priestess with the Five of Cups. So for those of you guys that are in a situation where you are aware of the person that you're dealing with uh, perhaps is legally married and they're not separated legally, uh, divorced, sorry, uh, divorced, I feel that there is a lot of stress here because of the situation. It's almost like a feeling of not being able to move forward or them not showing you like with proof uh, how serious they're taking this relationship. So it could be stress from that. Now, for others of you, it could be that you're dealing with a situation where perhaps money is involved because uh, perhaps um, the partner, the person that you're dealing with is currently like... Uh, giving or having to pay child support and it's bringing a lot of stress and I feel that the stress uh, the partner could be taking it out in some shape way or form towards you cancer so there is frustration in that aspect now with the five of cups there is almost like a contemplation of going back to a situation um, <coughs> excuse me for some of you guys it could be that you yourself are in a relationship and you're not being able to find the stability that perhaps you thought you would find. Uh, so I do see you guys like contemplating or thinking about going back to a person from your past. But with the high priestess here and the world card, what spirit is telling you is that you got to be mindful cancer of the moves that you make from here all the way to the end of this month. You got to be methodical in that sense. Why? Because they're not, perhaps they're not being completely honest with you. Um, with the Ace of Wands, there is a new beginning, a new promise, but the High Priestess next to it speaks to me about uh, perhaps a new beginning that they, you know, try to convince you of, but there are some hidden things that you're not fully aware of. And with the Wheel, uh, with the uh, the World card, sorry, uh, there is an ending cycle um, that is coming through or that they will be experiencing, but with this ending cycle it's like having to make a decision and they're more being pulled towards uh, going back to a situation with the seven of pentacles um we also do have the judgment card here so i feel that uh, there is lack of if you're currently dealing with a partner that either has been married or that you currently are aware that there's some type of separation, but there's no divorce in actuality. Be careful, Cancer, because what they're saying is they may be promising you or they may be biting off more than they could chew. Because I do see them going back or having the desire to go back to the past with the judgment and the seven of pentacles. So you got to keep that in mind. Also with the high priestess, uh, speaking about a new beginning but also having alter alternative or what is it called <coughs> having um what's the word i'm looking for like having other motives behind the surface not being upfront or not being completely honest with you with the emperor card there's a lack of stability in this person and the King of Cups, if you're dealing with a water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries energy as well, 
um, what they're saying here is that this person is lacking, they're lacking some type of structure, some type of stability. Um, and it could be a representation of the lack of emotional support because perhaps they are emotionally blocked, meaning they're still stuck in the past. So like I said, if you're dealing with this, you got to be careful, uh, cancer, because I do feel that somewhere by the end of this month, there's going to be almost a feeling of devastation or a feeling of being let down because they weren't completely honest with you. Um, now for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, I think that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with like family dynamic, um, like the brothers, the sisters type of energy. Um, and it's almost like their family, meaning the partner's family, uh, their mind was made up about the person that they quote unquote thought they should be with, like their relative should be with, meaning your partner. And I see them like really trying the best they can to like put their nose where it doesn't belong. And if you're currently experiencing this, like having a lot of like difficult, like petty arguments with your partner, it could be because people are in their ear, meaning family members. So the best advice I can give you, Cancer, if you're starting to feel like they're growing cold or distant towards you, it could just be because people are getting in their head. Um, so what Spirit is telling you is keep communication open. Uh, try the best to communicate, even if you feel frustrated about the situation. Uh, keeping communication open and allowing them or making them feel like you're not judging uh, you're not judging them for coming to you and telling you only makes them more comfortable about being completely honest and transparent with you, whatever it is that they're hearing. Um, and it also gives you insight to what they're really saying. So again, be patient with this process. Now, what you have here is the counseling card, sensitivity, and talk to your angels card. Um, so what they're telling you here is you heal with kind words, wise advice, and empathetic ear. Uh, sensitivity, you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly and talk to your angels instead of worrying us for divine guidance. So I feel that you guys are currently experiencing like a lot of stress or like feeling that the situation is out of your control in this present time. And what they're telling you is be vocal with your spirit guides, you know, be vocal about what you're wanting or where you need help in. Um, for some of you guys, counseling could be very necessary, not just with relationship wise, but you cancer as a person may need some type of counseling. Perhaps there's a toxic trait or a toxic behavior that you tend to do when it comes to partnerships and relationships. It could be a, to a toxic trait about uh, being very pulled towards people that are unemotionally available. And this could be a defensive mechanism for you either because you prefer to uh, have a person or deal with the person that is temporary versus having them full on 100% there with you. Um, and this could, like I said, ultimately be a, like something of a defensive mechanism. What is it that you're really afraid of? What is it that you're really scared of? Is it them getting to know the real you? Is it a feeling of unworthiness, a feeling of not being able to be enough? So that's why you keep them at a distance. Or is it that you tend to uh, submerge yourself in your emotions that you become uh, a bit toxic? Uh, you become a bit manipulative to ultimately get the results that you're wanting. So again, this could be something that you need to internalize to be able to understand really what is the reasoning behind some of your actions or how you're dealing and coping with the situation. Um, I hope this gives you guys some type of insight uh, and some type of understanding. And again, Cancer, if you guys are dealing with this type of energy where you're not really sure where you stand with this person or if this person is still dealing with an ex-partner, my situation would be, again, think about it, internalize it. Um, do you have a tendency or a pattern of falling for people this way? Uh, that tend to be this way and if the answer is yes w try to internalize the reasoning behind that uh, this is going to help you not only understand why you do the things you do but also help you heal 
perhaps some of um, past traumatic events or experiences that you've been carrying and you just haven't been able to overcome. This is going to help you to understand, to heal as well as to bring balance and more clarity and understanding uh, to make you prepare or to make you more emotionally mature uh, to be able to attract a long lasting uh, relationship or something that is much more healthy for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.